Hi everybody, Lori here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to be a part of the Pink Fresh Studio March release blog hop and I have a couple of fun projects to share with you using some of these amazing new products. I'm gonna be featuring, there's several new sets in this release and they all kind of have like little collections that coordinate with washi tape. Um, so this is the Artistic Dahlia and this is the Artistic Dahlia washi. You can see it says there, Artistic Dahlia. It coordinates with the stamp, die, and stencil. So all you have to do is lay down a sheet of that washi on white cardstock. You can use the coordinating dies to cut it out. But if you want to customize your colors and, you know, just go off the grid, you can do the, the uh, stencil. I'm also going to be using this new, um, it's called the A2 slider die, and it creates a really fun interactive card. So I'm going to start by um, stamping the Artistic Dahlia. Now this is one big stamp. It stamps all the blooms in one, and then the, it's one big die. So it takes all the guesswork out about lining up all these blooms. I'm gonna stamp the floral images with Misty Coast. It's a very light gray. I didn't want anything too stark, but I wanted a little bit so I could see where to line up the blooms and the leaves and all that jazz. Okay, so I'm gonna hold down my panel with some easy C tape. I believe there are six stencils in this layering stencil set. So I'm gonna start with the blooms and uh, I'm gonna do, you know how I like to go in rainbow order. And I do love, I do love Pink Fresh Studio colors. One of my top, top favorites in all the land is Sparkling Rose. I always grab it first without even thinking. I'm not even thinking, I open the drawer, drag, grab Sparkling Rose, and then I love to do a two-tone bloom. So I'm doing half Sparkling Rose and the other half a little apricot. Coming down, working my way with uh, Lemon Whip, and then a little Marigold on the other side of that. And there's really no rules, you know? Um, if you don't wanna take the time to do all this ink blending, washi tape's the way to go. Uh, there's so many different little collections in this March release, you gotta check them out. I'm sure if you work your way through the blog hop, uh, various designers are using various products, giving them all a little bit of a showcase so you can see how they all look. And um, there's a lot of different things you can do, a lot of, you know, to get more mileage out of these collections. So this is one way, use the stencil, do your own colors. Don't wanna take the time, use the washi. Uh, you could do, you could color it in with watercolor, stamp it, color it in watercolors. Uh, you could do Copic, you know, there are a lot of different ways you can go about it. Okay, so I'm doing some very non-traditional colors here, a little seaside, little candy violet, and then I'm coming back to that sparkling rose. One thing I love to do when you got purple, bring it back around to the pink. It really brightens it up, in my opinion. Okay, so that is stencil number one. I'm going to lift this up. And then I'm gonna lay down, now they're not really, so this is actually, what does this say? Stencil number, I couldn't see it, but I think it said five, but it's actually the detail for these blooms. So I laid it down and you know, you don't have to work in order. There's no stencil police. You just, you just have a time. Now here's one thing I am using, these new little Pink Fresh Studio kind of detail blender brushes and they are the cat's meow. They're very beautiful. I love the packaging. They come in the little slider box to keep them nice and safe and just fancy dancy. Look at that little slider box that holds the brushes. Just feels like you got your life together. You know what I mean? And I'm not very good at organization, but like they took care of it right there. So it holds six little brushes and I have two boxes, I think. I'm not sure, but I think two boxes might be enough, all you need if you wanna cover you know, the basic colors. One for pink, one for reds, oranges, yellow, green, aquas, true blues and purples, about all you need. And um, so here we got sapphire, which is a very deep, rich blue to give that detail over that seaside base. And a lot of times I just use the same color. I just go a little heavier handed. Okay, so this one, Raspberry Bliss, that'll wake you up in the morning. Raspberry Bliss will smack you in the face. Okay, moving on. Now this one here, I, I was starting to get, you know, I was wearing myself out with the rainbow because it's a lot of work. But this one here, I thought, you know what, let's do Easy Street. 
I'm going to do all this whole entire stencil with coral reef. Just give it a little bit of, a little bit of love on the right side, coral reef. And then I pull out apricot and I give a little dab over on the left. Gives it the two tone, but it's not too much work. You know what I mean? So you don't have to do, oh, I forgot to mention, this is Frank. That is Frankie, and he is my son's little kitty cat. That My oldest son, Boaz, just came home from Germany. His hockey season is over, so he came home for the summer, and he adopted a little kitty cat when he was in Germany from an animal shelter. And yeah, now Frank is here, and he's only been here a couple of days, and we are definitely adjusting. I was working on this video. Next thing I know, here comes Frank just trotting right through but I knew that you guys would probably love to see him he didn't get a real good look but he's a cute little tabby he's a teeny tiny now let's just talk about the adjustment period with Frank and Hank yes it rhymes and yes it was on purpose so Hank is my husband's father's name Frank is my father's name so we got Hank and Frank although Bo calls him Frankie but he said you can call him Frank you can call him Frankie do whatever you want to do. Hank's name is actually Henry. But we call him Hank. This is probably way more information than you care to know. Whatever the case, Hank and Frank are not getting along. Can I just tell you? But I will tell you what. Hank is trying. He's a golden retriever and he's just all about the love. And he is just trying. But Frank is not into it. And it's going to take some time. It's going to take some time. Okay, use the, using the coordinating die, I love that it's one big die. You get it in one shebang. Okay, so what I think Hank needs to do is just calm down the energy. He needs to come and just lay and be quiet. And maybe Frank will come around. But, you know, what? it's going to take time. Okay, here's the new A2 slider die. And um, I'm going to die cut the little interactive two parts. There's like the inner card and the slider part. And then there's one other die that kind of makes a base. I'm not going to use that base die. I'm just going to create a regular standard um, A2 size card. So I have an A2 size card base down there. Here's my slider. It kind of pre, when you run it through the die cutting machine, it makes those little, da those little dotted dash lines. Those are to score. That's where it's going to bend. And, uh, and then, okay, so first before I adhere this all together, I want to stamp a little sentiment. When you lift up, when you slide up the slider, I want to make a little sentiment. So this is a sentiment also from that uh, Artistic Dahlia stamp set. So I'm lining this up on my card base. And I wanted to get it centered and get it to where when that slider door goes open, it's centered. Stamping it with some black ink. And it says, so lucky to call you my friend. And this is going to be a little peekaboo sentiment. I'm putting a little dab of score tape on the back of the slider door. That's what I'm calling it. And then tear off that score tape. And I'm going to line up this little kind of a slider tag thingamajiggy. Line it up, center it. And that's really all you have to do to put this together. It's foolproof. And... um See how this, when you lift this up, it slides. It's like a little slider door. Now, um, I'm going to put foam tape. I have these very thin foam tape strips by Waffle Flower. And that gives it a little playroom for the slider to go up and down. I did try this before and I put score tape. And it was a little bit too tight for the slider. So I do recommend using a little bit something foam tape. It kind of gives it a little more room to slide okay so i pop this up onto my white card base and this is how she works fun little slider door and then i'm going to take some little silk ribbon you could use twine or whatever ribbon you have if you want to put makes it a little bit easier to grab a hold and slide it up okay so just a little bit of i had this i believe this is old 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 silk ribbon that I bought years ago from Paper Tray Ink. I don't even know if they still sell it, but I love it. A little bit of silk ribbon there at the top to grab a hold of. Makes it easier to slide the door. Now from here on out, we're just gonna embellish with, with all those blended blooms. 
you got to make sure when you're adhering the blooms that they don't get in the way of the slider when it bends and um, you just got to be figure out where you can adhere things I did put a, l a couple little little doodads under the stamp sentiment just to you know embellish it but you don't want it to get in the way so you got to kind of lift it up and down and and see where you can put things okay so there you have that that's all i'm going to do now i'm going to stamp a sentiment this is also i believe from the artistic dahlia stamp set let's get back to the kitty cat now um, oh by the way i love this sentiment i love the font and I love that there's a coordinating die. So I'm taking the coordinating die, cutting it out, and then I'm gonna go ahead and die cut three more out of white cardstock, stack them up, you know? Because dimension is life. But let's talk about Frank. Now, little Frankie, kitty cat, was an outdoor stray cat that they found probably on the street. Got picked up by animal control in Germany, and they took it in, they, what do you call, neutered it, it's a male cat and they gave it its shots, its vaccines, and all that jazz. And so they told him, they said, now, you know, this was an outdoor stray cat, so it's gonna wanna go outdoors, if possible. It wants to. And okay, there's my slider card finished. Look how fun, I added some little embellishment, uh, little clear iridescent drops, and I love how this turned out. But I still have a lot, and also it's a card, so you can open it up and write a sentiment as well. Uh, I'm going to take this and this is from the last release. It's the around the shape circle and I'm going to stamp a sentiment from that and then use the rest of my blended blooms. So I had all those extra little blended blooms die cut and I could not let them go to waste. So I'm taking one of the circle dies here, cutting it out and I love, love, love the font on this. That thanks for your love and care and I'm going to pop up the circle over top of the blooms. So I'm using the blooms to kind of frame it. Back to Frank. Okay, so Bo knew when he got this cat, this cat's gonna wanna go outside. So he used to leave his window open sometimes in the day and the cat would go out, roam around and come back. It never, it never ran away. So I think tomorrow Bo might let the cat out, give it a try here, see how she goes. I don't know, I think that cat might just take off running and never come back because of Hank. But we'll see. I will keep you updated. There are my two cards featuring the gorgeous Artistic Dahlia uh, collection. Make sure and check out the rest of the Pink Fresh Studio March release blog hop for more incredible inspiration. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so lucky to call you my friend. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.